Hello friends, welcome to English Grammar Class. My name is Reet Hall. Right now, I have been doing a virtual teaching and have been started with an online session for my students. So today, I have come up with an English Grammar and the topic for my English Grammar is Kinds of Sentences. So let us see what are the kinds of sentences. Firstly, what is a sentence? Sentence is a group of words providing us a meaningful sentence or a statement. It has three characteristics. Firstly, it expresses thought and idea. For example, if I give you an example of coming rain is the is it a sensible sentence or does it make any sense? Well, it is just a group of words. It is not conveying any meaning. Rearranging the word, the sentence comes as the rain is coming. So that is the correct one. The second characteristic of the sentences is subject and verb combination. This plays a very important role. For example, if I give a statement, Ram bring the book here. In this statement, the verb and the subject is Ram, wherein the verb is bring. The next and the very important third characteristic is meaning. It is very important because it provides us with a meaningful sentences that is based on different expressions of statement, question, command and exclamation. So let us start with the different four kinds of sentences. There are basically the different four types of sentences. Firstly, it is an assertive sentence. The next is interrogative sentence. Then the next sentence is imperative sentence and finally we have exclamatory sentence let us see the first one the first sentence here is assertive sentences it tells us the information declares or asserts a fact and they end with a full stop for example diwali is the festival of lights in this statement, it is giving us the information that Diwali is a light festival of lights. India has unity in diversity, wherein India has many people with different variety. And the name of my school is KVKGSS that gives the information about the school. The second sentence here is about interrogative sentence. Under this, it asks a question and a question mark is placed at the end of the sentence. For example, the first one is, have you seen the train coming? Or, where is my pencil? The questions like where, what, why, how, when or who is asked in interrogative sentence. Then, we have the sentence which is imperative sentence. Under imperative sentence, it gives a command, order, request and instructions and it is always ending with full stop. Example, march forward, it gives us a command that makes an imperative. Get out at once, it gives an order that is again an imperative sentence. Please fill in this form. This statement provides you a request. And finally, read the guidelines carefully. It is an instruction. So the sentence is an instructional one. And finally, the sentence which we are going to study is exclamatory sentence. Under the exclamatory sentence, we will see that it expresses a strong emotions and feelings like surprise, sympathy, happiness. And it is always with an exclamation mark in the end of the sentence like for example the first statement gives you is wow what a beautiful scenery it is giving an expression of surprise or wonder 
The next example is hooray we won the match. That is an expression of happiness which is shown in the sentence. Thank you so much for seeing this and have a nice day. Stay safe and everyone enjoy and have a happy learning. Thank you so much.